Hussain and welcome to the second project of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this creative loading animation by just using HTML and CSS. So no JavaScript, no nothing, by just using HTML and CSS. So now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. In the previous video, we've created our first project. In this video, we are going to be creating our second project, which will be creative uh, loading animation. Okay, and then inside this folder, I'm going to just create two files given name of like index.html and the second one would be style.css. Okay, so now I'll just write my doc type HTML very quickly. So I'll just zoom in a bit so that you guys can see everything a bit better. And then I'll just write doc and then here I'll just write like loading animation and then I'll link it to our CSS file. Okay, and we don't have any JavaScript, so we are not going to be providing any script whatsoever. And then finally, I'll just right click on it and then click on open with a live server. So it will automatically open with or file with a live server. Okay, all right, so here is our file right now. So in HTML, so we are going to be just writing a section with a class of wrapper, and then inside this section, we are going to have a loader of div, and then inside this loader. Inside this loader, we are going to have four um, circles. So I'll just write like uh, loading, and then I'll give a neck class of one, and then just duplicate it four times, and it will be now equals to two, and this one will be now set to three, and this one to four. And once you save our file, so you will see nothing inside our browser because we didn't style anything whatsoever, okay? So the first thing we have is a section with a class of wrapper inside this section we have a div with a class of loader and inside this loader class we have these uh, four items right here and we give each of them to like loading class we're going to style that and we're going to style specific of them like one two three four okay so now let's jump right into our css so the first thing which you have to do is to just write a research for yourself like margin will be zero padding will be zero and box sizing will be border box okay and now the next thing which you have to do is to just write a body inside this body we are going to be just writing a background of zero 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 and one more time zero like four zeros and then i want to just write add bcb and once you save our file so this is our blue right here okay so the next thing which we have to style is this wrapper section right here so i'll just select this wrapper and then uh, i'll just write like a display of flex because all of our item will be inside there and then we are going to just perfectly center that like align items will be also set to center and min height will be 100 vh okay so we currently you will not see nothing right here because we're in style or uh, loading items if you guys don't know about a flexbox so you can check out my video on a flexbox and then i'll just write a wrapper and then i'll select this loader class right now so i'll just write dot loader and then inside this lower class i'll just write like display of flex and uh justify content will be set to space between and then i'll just write a padding of 0 and 20 pixel and now i want to select this loading like each of this loading class right now okay so i'll just write like um a loader and then inside this loader we have this loading class like loading okay and then inside this loading class i'll give him a background of poorly white like pure white and then i'll just give him a width of 30 pixel and the height will be also 30 pixel okay and the border radius will be 50 pixel because we want them to be like perfectly uh, circle and margin not max resolution but margin will be 0 and 10 pixel and then animation uh, we will leave there so once we save our file so here you can see we have these four um, circles right here and which are perfectly centered right here and here we are centering it and here we are just justifying it to just like uh, to go in line and then this class is used for each of these circles right here okay so the next thing I'll do is to create an animation. So I'll just try like a keyframe and the name will be load. And then here I'll just start from zero and then I'm going to give width of 30 pixel. Uh, I'll also give my height of 30 pixel as well. So this is a starting point. When it reaches to 50%, then you want to just provide like a width of 20 pixel and the height will be also 20 pixels so this is just a simple loading right here and now we have to provide a name of that loading animation so i'll just write animation okay so it will give us a lot of properties the name will be load the duration will be 0.8 second and it will be ease and we want them to be like 
delay will be infinite so i'll just try like in finite and then i'll remove all of them okay so it will not work it will just work like that it will just bounce in and bounce out okay like zoom in and zoom out so for that we have to select each of these classes like one two three and we have to provide a specific animation to it a specific delay to it excuse my language and then i'll just write like a loader and then i'll select my loading and number one okay so you are now selecting this first one right here and we are going to just provide like animation delay not duration but delay of 0 0.3 seconds three seconds and once we save our file so here you can see this one is now taking a little bit of time and now let me just duplicate it four times maybe three times okay and this one will be now set to two and this one will be now set to three okay and now this one will be now instead of three i'll just set that to four and this one will be set to five and once we save our file so here you can see the first one will take a little bit of time and it will go on and on okay so this was our second project of this course which is just like a simple animation by using just <coughs> html and css so here you can see the full code so here you can see we have our section then we have loader then we have loading items and then we just uh, first of all we have research then we have background color and then we are centering it then we are just uh, inlining the items and then we are providing a little bit of styling to a loading and then we are selecting that and finally we have this animation right here okay so you can skip the rest of the video if you guys don't know about git and github so if you guys already know a git and github so you can watch the video like if you want to push this project to your github account so you can watch the rest of the video otherwise you can just jump right into the next video so i'll just write like uh, git status and if i hit enter so here you can see we have our second project right now and then i'll just write like uh, git add our two and hit tab and if i hit enter right now so feral everything okay i did not match any files that's not good let me check this get status one more time okay did i just provide end to it no that's simple let me just do it one more time get add uh out to and if i hit enter okay feral add space okay i provide a space right here that's because it's giving us an error so if i hit enter right now and now let me do it one more time gear as uh, not yeah status not status but add and then i'll just select this out too okay it's still giving us an error but you know i'll just write like get add and then i'm gonna hit and dot and now we successfully added there and now if i check get status so here you can see both of the file is added to a staging area and then i'll write a commit for that so i'll just use like get commit dash m of like uh, added oh uh, you know what creative loading uh animation project added okay and if i hit enter right now so everything is clear now final thing which you have to do get push origin man origin man and if i hit enter all right so now we successfully pushed that to our github repository and now if i just refresh my browser right here so here you can see we have this second project right now and now we have index.html file so here you can see the coding and then we have style.css file and here you can also see the coding of it okay so i think that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye